are currently 13 irrigation districts in southern Alberta that deliver water to over 1.3 million acres of farmland. Most of this water is drawn from the Bow River. Along with water, fish are also diverted into these irrigation channels. Every fall, Trout Unlimited Canada, along with hundreds of volunteers, captures many of those fish and returns them to the Bow River. Over a period of three to four weeks, during September into October, volunteers will don rubber boots and warm jackets to head out and try and save fish that otherwise would not be able to survive the long prairie winter as the water in these irrigation channels become just a trickle. The idea is that fish enter these irrigation canals throughout the summer as they divert water into the canals for agriculture and municipal use. There's no screening device on the canal structures, so fish enter these canals all summer. And they get stranded in here because they can't go back to the river, so they're essentially lost to the system. When the canals get drained in the fall after the irrigation season, the water level drops and any fish that are left in here are essentially gone. With the help of lots of volunteers, we try and catch as many fish as we can from the canals, and then we'll put them back in the river where they can complete their life cycle. The most effective way to capture the fish is by using electrofishing. Basically, a current is sent into the water, stunning the fish, which will allow those volunteers with the dip nets to scoop up the fish and place them into buckets. Another bucket, please. Oh, my <laughs> and perhaps the fact that there is an opportunity to see and handle the fish is one of the reasons getting enough volunteers to show up has really never been an issue. We have a lot of people that come back year after year, a lot of community groups, corporate groups, anglers, Trout Unlimited members. It's a really unique opportunity for people to come out and actually touch fish, handle them, learn about them, and then feel good about releasing them back in the river. 2258. It's a lot of fun. You don't need to know what kind of fish you're looking at because they'll take the time to train you. They give great instructions on what you need to do. No skills required. This one's pretty docile, so... Today's fish rescue is taking place just south of Carsland, where the water is already starting to slow down. And you get the feeling from this young volunteer that there's a sense of urgency to this work. We're trying to take fish from canals, because if it gets really too shallow, the water will freeze and the fish will die. So we're trying to take out as many fish as possible and get them back into the rivers or lakes that they are usually in. And we measure them, we tally them, we record them to see how many they are. Two, one, three, two, one, two. One could also say the day is about education, especially when there are so many kids on hand who may not know the difference between the various species of fish that they are rescuing. This is a mountain sucker. Funding for this critical project is provided by Alberta Environment and Sustainable Resource Development. The cost, between $35,000 to $40,000 per year, but it's resulted in more than 800,000 fish being recovered. As impressive as those statistics are, it's perhaps just as important to have this program up and running so that it can provide an opportunity for kids like Ryan to get involved with helping out our environment. Feels really good. I just don't know how to explain it. Really good. See, he's, uh, inviting me. 